first question is, which came first, the chicken or the egg, which is a question we're all pretty familiar with. So to answer that question, we now have an answer, um, which is the Yitzo Ethereum contract, conveniently. Um, so just a little bit about myself, obviously an egg enthusiast, um, also a front-end developer. So all of these things are really fun to play with as a person just trying to visualize data, can just tap into the blockchain, can just use IPFS. I don't have to worry about nearly as many annoying backend things that I'm terrible at actually engineering. Um, I may be a chicken in disguise that's still being uh, discovered. Um, and then really into community building. And I think there's a lot of things within this stuff that uh, inspired me, eggs for some reason, or the, the vessel. Um, so why Yitzo? Well, Yitzo means egg in Russian. Um, I am part Russian, though I do not speak Russian. So this is my first word. Um, it was inspired by Fabergé eggs, which are sort of the original collector item and they work pretty well as a model for NFTs. Um, and the basic premise is uh, that it, a, a SVG and a GLTF is uploaded. And then we'll put all of those into a, a metadata JSON that goes up uh, to IPFS. And that is the URI that is referenced on chain. And I'm actually using NFT storage, which was unveiled for the NFT hackathon where I, I started this project. And it's been a, a super convenient resource and tool for pinning stuff um, to, to IPFS and through Filecoin. So really appreciate that being done to sort of take alleviate some of the, the headache of how I'm going to store all these freaking eggs on, on the internet. Um, and so the technology that I'm using uh, as a front end person, just React TypeScript, because uh, it just works really well. I mean, it doesn't work incredibly well 3JS, but we can make it happen. Um, it's using ethers as the library to connect to Web3. And then I have a very simple backend that um, just kind of does all the IPFS stuff and hides my API key. And then the contract is a ERC721 Solidity contract. So this is the, the Yitzo web page. Um, very simple but it's pretty clear that you are to upload a pattern. So I don't think you can see my browser, but we'll put, okay, I have various frogs here. We'll go with a frog to start out with. Um, so the, basically the image gets uploaded and it gets put onto a canvas um, and that is turned into a uh, canvas texture for 3JS that then patterns it. Um, so, We'll just, we'll put this frog up here. So we can also decide who we want to send, send this to. Um, I'll just go with myself for now because I don't know any of your Ethereum addresses. And we'll call this blue, uh, not new, blue froggy. And then uh, continue. And then uh, this is a blue froggy create speed up. And then, so we have our confirmation and it uh, bounces in excitement. Um, usually this guy has something to say too, but unfortunately I may have broken him. But, okay, so now the, the SVG and the GLTF are pinning um, to IPFS, uh, which takes a moment and also creating the metadata. I don't know if you can see the, I have a MetaMask um, notification that came through and I'm just gonna confirm it. This is live on Rinkaby as well. So confirm it. Our little man is very excited now. Um, and there we go. We have created this egg and it may take a second. Oh, there we go. So this is a little receipt. We have the recipient as ourself, transaction hash, and we have the IPFS uh, URI. And we can view this on OpenSea, it should have populated. Um, we can also view it here in the application. I think my internet is struggling a little bit. 
So we have our little blue, blue frog. We can uh, take a look at him. He's a little, not as well lit here. Um, and he also exists in the uh, general NFT universe. Um, and then the other thing I added recently, uh, you can also look at the collection here. See your beautiful egg collection. Obviously I was a little busy this morning. Um, and then the other little fun thing I added was a way to draw. Uh, so I'll use my fancy pen to write. Uh, there we go. Uh, and we'll quickly uh, create this egg. I'll send it to myself because I'm a little greedy. Um, and looks good. Okay, so. And then same little process. My, my sort of mission behind this is kind of playing and learning and discovery and uh, some generosity as well. Um, I think the, the NFT sort of world has been, has been, has had a lot of sort of speculation, a lot of value. It's been kind of crazy to pick apart the things about it that are interesting internally and creatively. Um, and so within sort of playing and learning, I think there's a lot of potential for people that have the knowledge of these new concepts. I know I've learned a lot and I still have a lot to learn, but um, hopefully there, there are ways that they can better sort of um, teach people about what's happening and people, hopefully my application can help sort of the new users enter into the space and have a tool that they can play with it and um, understand concepts a little better once they have a playground of sorts. Um, and then sort of some other ideas, just creating space and cultures around these, um, maybe eggs are the ticket for that. Who knows? I guess we'll see. Um, and then obviously eggs work well as a thing to be hunted or discovered. Um, and then within that too, just within the whole ecosystem of NFTs being transferable by nature and playing with those ideas um, as a way to sort of change how we are gifting things to people in a digital way. Uh, there's, there's something elegant about using this technology in a simple way, I think. Um, and just thinking about using it in space, I, I haven't cracked this egg yet, but um, using either like coordinates and spatial hash grids and how, how can we define space using content hashing within IPFS and sort of other other tools where we don't have to um, do as much sort of guessing or, or random sort of storage and other things. Um, and then for the eggs themselves, that one of the elements is that they're unique. And currently it's a little naive. It just uses the, uh, the an SVG, the masked egg SVG and uh, takes that content hash from IPFS and saves that on chain. And so any, any SVG that comes through that is identical um, is rejected. And I think that it's a nice way to have the URI and also have a way to enforce some sort of uniqueness, but I think it could be taken a little further and um, could use image convolution and other sort of uh, AI machine learning techniques to generalize get features um, and those could be defined with hashes in an interesting way that has yet to be discovered. Um, so what's next or what I was mentioning, probably some scavenger hunts through egg drops of sorts, still figuring that out, but um, I've done scavenger hunts in the past. So I'm really excited about those ideas. Uh, having some way that eggs evolve, they, they grow into chickens and such or other animals. So naturally these eggs should have some way to transform eventually. And then other, some other fun ideas I had from people is uh, creating <laughs> Easter eggs in websites. So it'd be cool to have some sort of simple injection that um, someone can plug into their website and have a very meta egg experience. Um, and I think that's about all I have and I'll leave you with this uh, definitely one of my greatest inspirations is this episode of Always Sunny. 
and I offer you an egg in this trying time as well.